All right, first, um, say your name, spell it, um, and if you have like a specific title here, give it to okay, me. Okay, I don't really. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Sure, sure. Adjunct. <laughs> <laughs> that's not really great. Um, Kristen Howard, K-R-I-S-T-E-N, Howard, H-O-W-A-R-D, and I'm a dance teacher here for the kinesiology department. Okay, um, do you do, um, as far as hip-hop goes, do you do like any other side stuff like right now? I do. Um, I teach, of course, for the kinesiology department. I'll do uh, freelance choreography for the dance department sometimes um, in their fall or spring shows. And then I teach at a studio here in town, MJ's Academy of Dance, and that's for uh, grade school age kids. And I teach there um, to little kids, five-year-olds, all the way up to their company dancers. Okay. Um, and about how long have you been involved in hip-hop? Actually, I started late. I didn't start dancing until I was 19, and I'll be 29 next two weeks from now. Okay. So um, not, not a long time, but I loved it, and I just engulfed myself in a lot of hip-hop, but also I took jazz and lyrical, um, a little ballet, just because I wanted to be well-rounded and knowledgeable about other styles of dance. But I spent a lot of time in hip-hop because it was my favorite, and I just was very passionate about it. Um, what made you pick hip hop? Like, I mean, you're obviously in Alabama right now, so it's not really like a huge yeah. dance, hip hop dance scene. What made you pick hip hop? Um, I don't know. The first time I saw some kids doing was through a window, and the music and the way they were hitting the moves really hard. It just it made me feel like yes, that's exactly what I've been looking for, you know. And I just was I just love the music and the way you move to hip hop and. Hip hop is very free. It's very, um, I guess, if you want to, it's, it's the rebel of all the dance styles because it doesn't have a certain pattern that it follows. Um, as you can see, it has changed majorly over the years. And um, I, maybe that's why I liked it because I started so late as a dancer, I didn't have all that background that so many dancers had. So I felt connected and comfortable with hip hop. I was able to just be myself. And so I've really enjoyed it. And I love teaching it to students and other people to love it as much as I do. Okay. Um, how um, how did you get into teaching it? How did you, like, how did that, I, you know about? Actually, I was um, a student at Academy of Ballet and Jazz, and they lost their hip-hop teacher, and they asked me to step in. And so I covered a class. I think it was two classes, little kids. And I just fell in love with teaching. And I decided that that's what I was going to do. So I went to school and um, kept, I got my master's um, in sports management so that I would know how to manage a business or manage myself and learn how to teach. And um, I somehow got connected with uh, an individual that said I would be a good fit for the kinesiology department. So I tried it and I absolutely love it. I, I get new students every semester and at first they're always skeptical when they start but by the time they leave they have found something that they really enjoyed doing even if it was just for a semester they had a great time so you mentioned it a little bit um, how have you just kind of I mean obviously you can't you know, go a huge detail but uh, how have you seen hip-hop change um, since you started when I started hip-hop it was really hard-hitting everything was everything had its place and every movement was very very hard and you wanted to go as hard as you could and from that it's changed into more of a smoother element where you still have hard-hitting movements but in the same choreography you will have a smooth movement to back up a sharp movement and the music has changed where people will dance and do hip-hop now to uh, anything. They, they'll do hip-hop to country music or to just instrumental beats or different things like that and it's it's made hip-hop change from just being this hard-hitting genre that not everybody can do to actually being able to use someone that only does lyrical, being able to use them in a fluid style of hip-hop and so that's that's kind of the range I guess that it's taken and I've, it's been fun, it's been a fun ride. So. Um, turn your body just a little bit this way. That way. That way. Yeah. Just, you're good. You're good. Okay. It's not bad. Um, oh, okay. It's fine. Um, <laughs> I was getting real over here. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, you know, what's your favorite part about teaching here at Alabama and teaching hip hop at Alabama? I guess my favorite part would have to be 
the one or two students that I get that come up at some point in the semester and say, Kristen, this is what I want to do. I'm so excited. I can't, I finally figured out what I want to do. And for a teacher to be able to inspire someone, that, that's the part that makes you do it again and again. Um, even if I don't have that person that is going to dance for forever, even if it was just a thank you for teaching me an outlet or a different way to express myself, um, that keeps me wanting to do it again and again. Okay. Um, and what would you say uh, to someone who doesn't know a lot about hip hop and maybe like sees it on you know, the class thing? What would you say to them? Um, I would say give it a try. If and only if you like dancing. If you like dancing or it looks like something you might want to dabble in, give hip hop a try because it doesn't have a lot of technical boxes that you have to stay in. So you might find a fit that you really enjoy. Uh, what's the hardest part about teaching? I know I asked you the, your favorite part. What's the hardest part about teaching it? The hardest part would have to be probably the same thing. When you're teaching to people that have no passion about it, no desire to do it, and they cannot find the move that you have found at all would be the hardest part to go over and over and they never can figure out because they don't want to. That's the hard part. But you have to just kind of pass by and teach it to them and move on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, uh, is there anything else you want to add to about it or anything like that? A roll tide. <laughs> That'll work. Thank you so much. You're, You're welcome. And it no looks problem. Awesome.